going on everyone? It's Bales and welcome back to another AFL Fantasy Daily News Recap. It is Tuesday the 28th of March and we have a few updates. Obviously Tuesday is when a lot of the injury reports come out so we've got all that to get through. Plus as well we have a debutant that isn't being announced for Thursday night so we'll talk about him. He potentially is an option for coaches to look at bringing in. So let's get stuck straight into it. So I think the big news is that Josh Kelly and Lockie Whitfield are both looking like they're going to be on track to be playing this weekend against Carlton on Saturday. They've just got a couple more boxes to tick from their concussion protocols, but it looks like, barring sort of any unforeseen circumstances, that they are going to be playing on Saturday. So if you did hold Josh Kelly, you'd be very happy with that. I don't think a lot of people would have held Whitfield, but if he did, he's looking like he'll be playing this week. So that is good news to have both those guys back. The debutant has been announced, Arthur Jones from the Bulldogs. So he is a 200k forward. He would have been playing round one if it wasn't for a groin issue in the preseason, well, just before round one, actually. I think it was a week leading up to it or in the final practice game. But nevertheless, he's debuting in round three. He's a, he's a solid option to bring in at 200k. I think he might have decent job security, the fact that he looked like he's going to be playing round one. So he is an option for coaches to look at at a basement price of 200k. So you can either bring him in this week or you can even wait a week, see how he goes, and then bring him in next week. But let me know in the comments. Are you bringing Arthur Jones in this week or are you going to be waiting a week and seeing how he goes first? But yeah, we have a debutante, which is good news. Mitch Duncan, Tom Stewart. So they're both on track from their respective injuries. Mitch Duncan is obviously closer than what Tom Stewart is. So they're saying that Mitch Duncan, sorry, is going to be is only a couple of weeks away, or he'll be putting his hat out for selection soon, and Tom Stewart will also be probably about three weeks away from when uh, he's meant to be returning. So good news for Geelong, and potentially good news as, as coaches, because two defenders that we can maybe look at as sort of around the 800k or just below. So George Wardlaw as well, played his first game in the VFL for the Kangaroos on the weekend, performed quite well. I think he scored 70 points in three quarters, so he's just an only keep an eye on his 294k. A little bit more expensive, but... If he does get a game, I think he will be a pretty good option to have a look at. So just one to keep an eye on over the next couple of weeks. Kadeen Coleman is another one that might be coming back for Brisbane. Well, he's available for selection this week, so you would assume that he will come back in for Brisbane. And Calamarchi as well was also available for selection after playing in the VFL last week. Darcy Wilmot and Connor McKenna, I think they're both locked into the side, but it's just to note that a couple more guys in there might be more of a squeeze. So just, just something to keep an eye on. I don't think it'll be dropped, but... Um, just take note of that. Wayne Miller, late withdrawal last week due to an adductor, slight adductor strain. So the Crows decide to hold him out. But he's available for selection this week. So he'll be back in. Just probably a cheap guy to keep an eye on. I don't think we can really trust him at this stage because he always seems to, to burn us when we believe in him. But just someone to keep an eye on again. Uh, Sean Lemons and Will Power. Obviously, Sean Lemons is available for selection for the AFL side. Will Power played VFL last week. Apparently looked good in his half so he is also available potentially for AFL section, but maybe they give him another go in the VFL to get some more fitness. But does that impact Bodie Uland? I think it probably does more so. I think Lemon maybe comes in to replace Bodie. And then Charlie Constable as well, just a guy who played well last week. I think he'll hold his spot, but he's just one that maybe could be pushed out in a couple of weeks if they get these guys back and, and he has a poor game. So... There you go. And then probably the final one is that Matthias Philippou was praised by Robert Harvey on SEN today, saying that his confidence and also just level head is is being great factor, great contributing factor. So I couldn't get words out then uh, for the Saints this year, and he's been fantastic up forward. So I think we can safely say that Philippou will be playing for the Saints for the next, well, pretty much all season, I, I think. So his job security is fantastic. So... Perfect. That's the news for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, if you do want to, leave a like on the video if you enjoy the content. Also, subscribe to the channel. We hit 790, so we're only 10 away from 800. If you can subscribe and help me get to 800 and then 1,000, um, be very much appreciated. Appreciate all the support. Uh, turn notifications on so don't miss when I go live or upload any, any other content. And also, all my social media links are in the description below, so go and find me across all the socials. And put any questions in the comment section of the video here if you've got any questions or or anything like that, or hit me up on Twitter or, or Instagram or anything like that, and I'll get to those questions. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow for another AFL Fantasy Daily News Recap. But first, we'll have the Trade Talk video coming up at about, I think, 4 p.m. Eastern is when I'm looking at uploading that. So stay tuned for that, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I'm out. Cheers. <laughs>